Hello everyone and welcome to another video by yours truly, Fran Agolto with the Developer Relations team here at WP Engine doing Headless WordPress. WP Engine's Headless Platform is the go-to end-to-end solution for the headless approach. So I'm going to discuss and guide you through the easy implementation of the latest feature on the platform, which is support for on-demand ISR on Next.js and Faust.js. By the end of the video, we're going to have a better understanding of on-demand ISR and using the headless WordPress platform to support it with Next and Faust. Let's dive right in. The first thing we want to address is what is the deal with on-demand ISR and what is it? On-demand incremental static regeneration, as it stands for, is a feature that allows you to manually purge the Next.js cache for specific pages, and enabling more dynamic and timely updates to your site. Now, typically in regular ISR, when you set a revalidate time such as 60 seconds, all visitors will see the same generated version of your site for that duration. The cache is only invalidated when someone visits the page after the reval period has passed. Now with the introduction of on-demand ISR in Next.js version 12.2.0, you can now trigger cache invalidation manually, providing greater flexibility in updating your site. And it's particularly useful when content from your headless CMS is created or updated, and e-commerce meta metadata changes such as price, description, category, or reviews are made. Now this feature streamlines the process of reflecting changes on your site in real time, ensuring that your content is always fresh and up to date. Okay, so why use it in headless WordPress? Now in headless WordPress, the front end is decoupled from the WordPress backend often using Next.js and Faust.js to render the website. Now this architecture offers several advantages such as potential for improved performance, enhanced security, and greater flexibility in choosing front-end tech. Now, however, one challenge with headless WordPress is ensuring that content changes in WordPress are reflected on the front-end without sacrificing performance. This is where on-demand ISR becomes pretty crucial. By leveraging on-demand ISR, you can achieve these benefits. Let's go over them. Up-to-date content. On-demand ISR allows you to, your site to fetch the latest content updates from WordPress manually as needed. So again, unlike regular ISR with checks for updates at specific timed intervals, on-demand ISR lets you trigger cache invalidation whenever content is created or updated in WordPress. So this is gonna ensure that users see the most recent content without waiting for a revalidation period. Enhanced performance. Since on-demand ISR updates only the specific pages that need regeneration at the moment they are triggered, your site remains fast and responsive. Initial load times are minimized and only the changed content is updated, reducing server load and build times. There is also SEO benefits because static pages are highly favored by search engines due to their speed and reliability. With on-demand ISR, you maintain the SEO advantages of static generation while ensuring that your content is always fresh and relevant. As updates are reflected immediately after they are triggered. So that's the other thing too. SEO is crucial. Scalability. On-demand ISR enables your site to handle large volumes of content efficiently, whether you're running a blog with frequent updates or an e-commerce site with dynamic product listings, on-demand ISR ensures that your site scales pretty seamlessly. So all those benefits got me stoked. Let's get it on our Next.js and Faust.js sites, configure it, and go over what we need. Before we dive into the configuration and code, Let's check off a list of prerequisites. First, basic knowledge of Next.js and Faust.js is required. A WP Engine headless WordPress account and environment setup, and Node.js and NPM installed on your local machine. I've already installed all these and checked off the prerequisites. 
Now, let's go ahead and start configuring this. What we need to do is go over to the at WP Engine Atlas Next NPM page. We've got their install command here. And then I'm going to jump over to my terminal, paste this, and install it, and then double check that it's in my project. And it is. This is the latest version 1.3.0. And what this package provides is improved support on the headless WordPress platform. Now that we've verified that it's installed, let's stay at the root of our project and go to the next config file over here. And in the documentation, there is some code you paste to configure and make sure that the module is exporting with the Atlas config, as you see here. Now, if you're using FastJS, all you'll need to do is modify the next config with the Faust wrapper, which is also in the documentation. In this video, we're just going to use raw Next.js. Now let's check if this works. When we run npm run dev in our terminal, it should output a, str a string text that says Atlas Remote Cache Handler Enabled in our local storage. So npm run dev. And there it is, Atlas Remote Cache Handler Enabled. All right, it's working. Stoked. So the first step, now that we've installed it properly, is to create an API route. And I've pre-created these things, so we're gonna talk over the code. What we're gonna do is in the API folder in the pages directory, you're going to drop a revalidate.js file in. And then from the next docs, they have this code that you can copy and paste in your project. And what this does is this file defines an AP, excuse me, API route in Next.js that handles on-demand ISR. So when a request is made to this route, the handler first checks for a secret token provided in the query parameter to authenticate the request. Now, if the token is missing or incorrect, it responds with a 401 unauthorized status. The handler then checks for the presence of a path query parameter, which specifies the page to be revalidated. If the path is not provided, it responds with a 400 bad request uh, status. If both the token and path are valid, the handler attempts to revalidate the specified page path using next uh, response.revalidate, and that's down where is that right here <clears throat> if it's successful it responds with a json message indicating revalidation was successful if an error occurs during revalidation it responds with a 500 internal server error and an error message okay now that we've done this next we have to create a secret token this code sets up an api route that checks for a secret token for security validates the presence of the path parameter and triggers the revalidation of that specified path. So with Node.js installed, you can generate it in your terminal with Node.js. Uh, so what you would do is in terminal, you're gonna paste this command in here. And what this does is it uses the crypto module to generate a 32 byte random string in hexadecimal format. And the output will be your secret token. So there is that. Now, I'm not gonna use that obviously, but you get the point here. <laughs> Back in my Visual Studio code, I would go to my .env.local file, have a uh, key that, whatever you wanna name this, I just put revalidation underscore secret, and then you paste your secret key as the value. Now that we have an API route endpoint to hit to have on-demand ISR, we're going to have to configure the cache revalidation in our headless WordPress setup. That's the next step. There are two ways to do this, and I'm back in my WP admin, as you can see. We're going to use a webhook plugin. Now, you can use plugins like WP webhooks that we're going to use in this video to enable webhook functionality and trigger the API endpoint we've created, which 
when relevant events occur, such as when a post is published or updated, it reflects immediately on demand and then the changes will reflect on the front end. Now, when you have your secret key generated and need the NAP an API endpoint, you just append a query string parameter to it with the key and value pair where the key is a secret and the value is a secret token. So basically, for instance, it would look like this. And I know this, let's see here. I'm gonna put this in the uh, URL search bar up here. And obviously the site can be reached, but you can see it here where it has the API path revalidate, then the query parameter secret equals the um, value of that secret key. So uh, when I decided to use WP webhooks, it's real easy here. Um, I've already downloaded the plugin and then it has its settings. So if we go to its settings, uh, you essentially go to the send data one and I've done one where every time a post is updated, um, it'll, Here's the webhook URL with the localhost 3000 and our revalidate query param secret equals the, the key that I am using. Now, one is for the my localhost 3000, which is local development on my local MacBook. And then the other one is I've actually already deployed this application to WP Engine headless platform. And the uh, URL that is generated for the application is given, and then I appended that to the um, to the U uh, URL. So let's try this out and see if this works. Let me go back to user portal in WP Engine at my headless WordPress uh, platform account and. I'm going to copy the, the URL here that's given to me when deploying a, uh, an application on Headless. And then I'm going to put that in the search bar here. And then this is a Next.js homepage, but I'm going to put the path that I've been testing, which is post slash stoke dash test dot two. I have my title at the top and then the content here at the bottom. Now I'm gonna go back to my WordPress admin backend, go to post, and I'm gonna edit this post. So let's uh, put three exclamation marks here. This rules end of block content to end of block content three. I'm gonna update this and that should trigger the change against that API path. So now, once I visit this, stoked, this works. On demand, instead of a timed interval, I was able to get fresh, up-to-date content right away. Awesome. Now in WP Engine's headless WordPress platform, if I go back to my account and I'm at the um, runtime logs, I can see that there was some runtime logs that happened with this uh, API revalidation on demand. And you can see all the output here. Now I'm not gonna go all the way down because my secret key is there, but you get the idea. The feature of the runtime logs is very valuable, especially when you're trying to ensure what is working and what might not work in your headless WordPress application. All right. So implementing on-demand incremental static regeneration with Next.js and Fast.js on WP Engine's headless WordPress platform is a game changer for maintaining performance and up-to-date content in a headless WordPress setup. Now, by following the steps outlined in the video, you can leverage on-demand ISR to ensure your site remains both fast 
and current without the need for full rebuilds. Now, the integration with the platform also simplifies the deployment and management process, as you saw, providing a seamless workflow from development to production. Now, do check the docs. I'm going to leave all the links in the YouTube uh, description with the video. There are some limitations as well, and the docs will explain every uh, detail that you need. As always, we look forward to hearing your feedback, thoughts, and projects, so hit us up in our Headless Discord. Until then, happy coding, y'all.